Hey guys, this is Comic Uno and Comic Frontline, and today I'm doing a video on Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps Rebirth Issue 1. Uh, so, let's start talking about this issue. Um, I did read this digitally, so... I'm sorry. <laughs> so I don't have um, any of the images with me, but let's talk about it anyways. Uh, so... With this issue, we get to see that Hal Jordan is uh, still like he was in New 52. He has the gauntlet and everything, and he's starting to lose himself. But then he realizes, I can't. I can't lose myself. So he keeps repeating his name in his mind. Uh, and he's able, with his willpower, to create his own ring, which is the first time anyone has done that, that who isn't a guardian. Uh, and he's like, I need to go find my friends. He doesn't know where Guy is. He doesn't know where Kyle is or, or John. And he wants to find his core again. And there are some other Lanterns that, you know, see that. Uh, example, Carol Ferris. I mean, she'll be a bigger part of the series. Uh, and also you see Sinestro looming around. He is evil again. Uh, and there's like an older Sinestro for some reason. Uh, and and so it's going to be this classic Sinestro versus Hal Jordan, um, I guess, story arc, which is going to be cool. So what did I think of the issue? Um, I actually really liked it. I thought this was a really good issue. Um, the artwork felt a little lanky at times, but I love the colors. And I liked that it felt like classic modern Green, La uh, Green Lantern. And I thought it fit very well. Uh, besides, again, some of the lanky heads you saw. Uh, that was very rare throughout the issue, so that's more of a nitpick. Uh, but I thought the, the artwork was pretty good. Um, and also, I liked the story. I liked the inner monologue. And with these Rebirth titles, they should be transition issues from the New 52 to the issue one. I thought it did a perfect job of doing that um, and I liked it. I, I can't say um, it hooked me totally. I don't know if it got me excited for issue one but it definitely made me interested in issue one and I think this is more an issue just like a lot of the other Rebirth titles. It's more of an issue for the new readers. If you don't know anything about Hal Jordan they really explain his origins but it wasn't boring for old readers either. It was more of a nice little rehash which was great. Uh, so overall it was close to four stars but I think I'm going to go with the three and a half stars um, for this one. But still very enjoyable and I was, and I was surprised because it is kind of the same um, creative team as the old Green Lantern which kind of went this weird direction and went in a boring direction for me and here it's finally going back to basis, uh, basics again and hopefully it stays there and it's more character driven and so far I've gotten that with um, with this issue. So like I said I'd give this like a high three and a half stars. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. This is Comic Uno on Comic Frontline. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below there are links for my comic book like Father Like Daughter and don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.